Good morning and welcome to the Venice Scoop covering the Venice area, Northport, and Inglewood. Today in the news, the top news is that Northport shooting. They've identified the officer. His name is Aaron Nick. And basically they've come off saying that they were fired upon multiple times. There was a big shootout. Um, they will not give any specifics on the individual that was killed. And they're waiting for the release of that information. Uh, let's see. Also, the Saratoga Club. They have honored two Venice High School students. Um, one is Julia Dorsett and Patrick Collins, in addition to teacher Lorraine Mizewiski um, for their grades and basically how their, their achievements in school at Venice High School. Uh, Another thing is we had a report on a thread where Murphy's gas station, not sure specifically where this Murphy's is, but the, I guess the individual stopped pumping the gas and it continued to go up about 60 cents. She went in, couldn't find anyone to handle the situation. So it's something to be cognizant of. And one thing that somebody did mention, which I popped out of my, um, in my mind, is the uh, fact that they're not seeing as many certification on the gas pumps as they used to see, and they're wondering if they're being more lax in Sarasota County now. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. South Hook, they're opening up a new location uh, to help the homeless, and it's going to be located right on Colonial. You make a right, and it's right there on the right-hand side, basically across from Captain Eddie's. Um, I'm not sure that we, if it's a relocation or a new location for them. Let's see, bacteria on stingray get attacks. I put out a video from, I can't remember the news station, but basically they're saying due to a lot of the bacteria in the water during, with the, some of the pollution, some of the um, uh, temperature of the water, that people are susceptible to um, bacteria. And they want people to be cognizant of it and know if they got a stingray um, sting, make sure they're taking care of it. Tri-County Counseling, this was uh, put on there by Zach, and they're offering free help and healing um, counseling services. I'm not sure how long it's going for, and I, I can't remember the specifics, but the link is up there on the Venice Scoop. Um, that's basically it for the news covering our area. Weather, if, you're not, if you haven't been outside yet, it's great. I have the windows open. On the way to the gym this morning, I was in my um, open Jeep and basically had the heat blasting. Um, it's supposed to be a high of 81 today. It does look like they said sunny, but to me it's looking like it's going to be a little overcast and a low of 59 today. Um, I think today's low is 64. Tonight's going to be 59, so a little bit chillier. On sports, uh, Venice High School, Terry Polk running back. He's leading in the rushing yards so at 172 carries. For 1,345 yards and 14 touchdowns. So, big shout out to Terry. Um, the Venice High School volleyball team has another district game tonight at the TP. It starts at 7 o'clock. So, try to, if you're not doing anything, try to get out there and show some support for Venice High School volleyball. Um, last night at the Venice High School freshman football, Coach Mike Lay was honored for 50 years of football coaching. Um, he was recognized. I put a few pictures up that I came across. So, Go to thevenicescoop.com and check them out. Events. No events that I know of today outside that Venice High School volleyball game. So just a reminder of some events that are taking place tomorrow. There's a few of them. The Waterford Golf Club's having a free health seminar from 3 to 5. Um, go out there and check it out if you can. The specifics are on, under the events tab of the Venice Scoop. Um, there's a free concert with Larry and Friends at 7 o'clock at Centennial Park. Go out there, enjoy the free concert, maybe get something to eat afterwards, some ice cream. Always a good night of uh, fun on Friday night. And let's see, this one, no, this one I, I like and I may try to attend it. It's Narcotics Overdose Prevention and Education. They're having a candlelight vigil at 7 o'clock at Blaylock Park on the island. Definitely um, get out there and show your support. It's, it's a, a chronic problem here in, in our city, in our area. Um, lastly is the Haunted Trails of Oscar Share Park. That's from 8 to 10. Um, bring the kids out and enjoy the Haunted Trails out at Oscar Share Park. That's all I have for you. Um, go out, enjoy your Thursday, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks.